What's up, gang? We're back. The other controversial album, Silence in the Snow. Silence in the Snow. This one was a departure from Screaming. So this is where, how in Vengeance Falls, he started focusing on um, cleans. This is where he honed in on just cleans. Like, yeah. this is a, this is a, ju- I'm just gonna sing album. I think that was because, like, I think he actually, like, damaged his voice or something. So he was in recovery for a while, but they still, you know, wrote songs. I, yeah. I don't think it was a choice. He just couldn't actually do it. So either way, it was uh, it was a something different for the yeah. band. It, um, it was a chance to you know really get good at singing, which he definitely did. Yeah, he did, does a good job. Uh, so the opening snowfall, that one's like their intro, and again, I missed the intro. So in Vengeance Falls, there was no real intro. So it was nice to have an intro back, and I think that it was a good setup for uh, Silence in the Snow, which is the title track. Um, it's a very good build-up for it. It's ominous. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's theatrical. It feels like you're in a movie. Like, that's, that's the feel you get from Snowfall. Yeah. Um, definitely just I, just... I love intros, man. Just Please, have an intro for every album. <laughs> it looks like the new one's going to have one, too, because it's just called Nine. So I'm, I'm ready for that. Okay, so the the title track, which is the second track on the album, Silence in the Snow, um, that one starts off with this big boom, the the like the whole introduction of the band, which is like everybody. Yeah, I think it. this was a leftover thing from Shogun, actually. So what makes you say that? They said oh. even like Travis was like, oh yeah, I remember it from like when I was in the band. Oh really? It was like a leftover from Shogun. So, which is weird, because, like, it's much more simpler than the rest of the album. Maybe that's why I was left off. But yeah. That's the thing. Like, the songwriting, or, I mean, not the songwriting, like, the riffs. It and, doesn't sound like Shogun at all. I know. <laughs> it really doesn't. But it's definitely, like, a much more simple album. Especially, all right, we're going to talk about Matt Medeiro, or Medeiro, whatever his name is. Uh, replacement for Nick. Yeah. After Nick was, unfortunately... Well... At the time, I was really upset about it. But, I mean, I think this guy did all right. He gets shit on a lot. Even by the band, when they were talking about the sin of the sentence leading up to it, they were talking about, oh, yeah, you know, if Silence in the Snow was the Trivium one arm tied behind our back because Matt couldn't scream in the drumming, they're, like, straight up talking shit on this guy. But, really? like, to be fair, like, the, I don't know. The songs aren't, like, they didn't too like the complicated. They didn't. I don't know. They said, but... They were like, the drumming was a severe downgrade to the band. Kind of. I mean, especially after Nick. I mean, sandwiched between Nick and Alex. I don't Alex. know what it is about the band with drummers. Like, they, like why are they so critical of their drummers? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> but I mean, the guy just kind of, I think he held his own for what the songs were. It's not like this album was It's not extremely crazy technical. Technical, no. yeah. It's not like Shogun or anything. Yeah, but uh, yeah, moving on, uh, Silence in the Snow was a great uh, intro track. And moving on is uh, Blind Leading the Blind, another great song. I liked it. Yeah. I, th- I thought uh, I thought it was a good message. It has a good rhythm, good singing. Everything's good in this one. It's probably one of my favorite riffs. It's like, was it the pre-chorus maybe? do 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 Yeah. I even, I remember when I met him on this tour, I was like, guy, you guys, that riff is awesome. I, th- I told that to Corey. And I forgot what he called it. It was like the waltz riff or something. I don't know. That's a really cool riff. I like it. Okay, so moving on. Uh, Dead and Gone. Meh, that was a meh for, for that for me. Yeah, Dead and Gone was... It was okay. Yeah, it was definitely different. It was kind of had like a weird vocal thing going on with it. I think a lot of these songs... Well, are meh. Well, uh, some of them. Okay, not a lot of them. Looking at the track listing, there's a lot that I like, really like on the sound. There's there's but... more than Vengeance Falls for sure that I yeah. like on this one. So okay, so next is uh the ghost that's haunting you, another song that doesn't really stand out to me, barely remember it. Yeah. It's just whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I, I kinda like the acoustic version he did on his channel more. It's okay. But next, Pull Me From the Void, I that think That one's a cool intro. Is an awesome song. That's got some cool riffs. I like that one. Yeah, that one and another one coming up, I think, have great messages. It's just, I don't know, it's just a really cool song. Uh, moving on, uh, Until the World Goes Cold. It's probably one of the most popular ones off that one. Until oh, the yeah. World Goes Cold is, is uh, it has a strong message of get through whatever you're going through at any costs. That's the message. I know. That's another one that's like, I think even that's the only song they play now off that album. Maybe they play the title track sometimes, but Until the World Goes Cold is very um, consistent song they play. Yeah, that's um, 
It's a it's a great one. It's a great track. Um, next is uh, Rise Above the Tides. That one has a really interesting one. Um, yeah. Interesting riff. That's the other one I really like. Rise Above the Tides. Fucking love that message. I, I love how it, it begins just after the beginning. It goes like that. Yeah. yeah. Rise above the tides, the waves will pull you under if you don't try. Fucking love that line. Yeah. God damn it. All right, so yeah, great message. Love that song. The next is uh, the thing that that's killing me. Uh, I understand what it means. I like the lyrics. It's just not a super interesting song to me. The remaining songs in this album, besides besides the bonus tracks, I don't really care too much for. The thing that's killing me beneath the sun, beneath the flames. All those are just kind of pretty whatever to me. Yeah, TBH. that's pretty much the same thing for me. Yeah. Cease all your fires. Cease all your fires are great. One. The darkness of my mind. Yeah, those two should have been in the album. Yeah. Switched out for uh, beneath the sun and breathe in the flames. Honestly, like for they're the bonus tracks, and I think they're some of the best songs on this album. Yep, easily. Yeah, overall though, not, it's 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 a uh, it's it's not better than Vengeance Falls. Well, maybe a little bit. But I'd say it's better, it's, but. Not still, by a long Yeah, still shot. still unimpressed in terms of the entire band. I think this this is the one that when you were in boot camp. Yeah, I was in boot camp <laughs> when this came out. I fucking drew him the... Yeah, because <laughs> I didn't know what the album looked like. So this album was coming out while I was still in recruit training for the Marine Corps. So uh, David sent me a letter... And he drew, like, this is what the album and looks like. I drew this. Album. Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay. Hey, check this out, man. <laughs> that, yeah, I was like, and so I was confused because I was like, it's just a skull? Like, yeah, this one and Sin and Sentence have very basic artworks, but I actually kind of think it's cool. All right, well, that does it for this one. Uh, we're almost done. Tune in for the next one. One more for now. Yeah.